how does the TLS protocol work? In this video, we will try to understand that. Let's say a user types an HTTPS URL in the address bar of the browser and the browser starts communication with the web server. HTTPS is an application layer protocol that uses the TLS protocol. So here the client or the user's computer will start establishing a TLS connection with the TLS server or the web server. Firstly, the client will perform a TLS handshake with the server. The client first opens a TCP connection via a TCP handshake and then the TLS handshake starts. In TLS handshake, the client first sends a client hello message to the server. This client hello message includes the TLS version and the cipher source supported by the client. The message also includes a string of random bytes called the client random. A cipher suit is a set of encryption algorithms that can be used to establish a secure connection. After receiving the client hello message from the client, the server responds with a server hello message. This server hello message includes the server's SSL certificate, the chosen cipher suit and a string of random bytes called the server random. Now, the client verifies the SSL certificate of the server with the certificate authority that issued the SSL certificate. Once the verification is successful, the client knows that it can trust the certificate and go ahead with the connection. Now, the client uses the public key of the server and encrypts a random value called the free master secret and sends it to the server. The server decrypts the random value using its private key. Now, both the client and the server use the client random the server random and the free master secret to derive a session key. Once the session key is derived, the client sends a finished message that is encrypted with the derived session key. The server decrypts the client finished message with the derived session key. It then encrypts a server finished message with the session key and sends it to the client. Once the TLS handshake is complete, the server and the client can start encrypted communication. All the messages transferred between the server and the client can be encrypted with a symmetric session key. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more, please visit the website of the security body. The relevant links are provided in the description. The security body also provides many cyber security courses. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.